Alright peeps, welcome back, episode 58, I'm Christian Michael, you know the drill. Alright, so last episode we saw WrestleMania Best of Pay-Per-View Series John Cena, and now we're going to review the man he defeated for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 29, The Rock. That's right, Superstar Entrances Series number dos, The Rock. There you can take a look at the Rock in the Packaging exclusively at Walmart or eBay if you don't have a Walmart near you. Where is I got this at on eBay. Flip it over. You can see the other guys in the set. Cena, Brian, and Ryback. And what I like about these Superstar Entrances uh, figures is that if you see there, there's a window in the back showing you the back of the t-shirt. So pretty. It's a the Superstar Entrances figures are basic series figures, and we'll get them out of the package. See, these aren't the WrestleMania ones, so we don't have to be careful about what we do. We can just rip them open. So here's The Rock in his uh, G Unit. I'm sorry, that's Team Bring It Soldier T-shirt with his Samoan tattoo there. It says Soldier there, and let's get up close. It does say. That red thing that you can barely read does say Team Bring It. On the back, it says Push the Pace. So get, drop and give me 20. Mm, two, three. All right, enough of that. He has uh, these knee pads here that suck because they're dropping. He, uh, his tights are designed with the silver, the rock, and the silver Brahma Bull on the back. You can see a bit of the Brahma Bull tattoo there, and some of the uh, Samoan Tribal tattoo there. Now, again, since these are basic figures, uh, the t-shirts are painted on, and it really kind of looks shitty on the arms because it's just paint over the muscle area. And like here you can see on the bicep swivel, it's like very apparent, let's move my fingers out of the way, that his arm's going one way, shirt's kind of going, it's, the, the shirt is detached from the arm there, but it is what it is, it's a basic figure, not the greatest rock head scan of all time, they did manage to capture the people's eyebrow, just so you do know that it is the rock. I have decided to stop collecting basic series figures except for the t-shirt series guys because I do like them. My uh, Dolph Ziggler and Triple H from the previous series are actually two of my favorite figures and uh, we st and the only Miz figure I have is the t-shirt series uh, from last year that I have still yet to open and review and so the only uh, basics that are going to stay in my uh, collection are these t-shirt guys because they offer a little bit more detail and decoration than your basic basic figure right, so there is the rock um, not really much to say about this one not totally in love with it but not the worst figure um, like I said it's just the only thing is that you can see the glare on the paint here as opposed to here on his shoulder. I mean I wish that they could do something better with that to make it look more like a shirt. I mean how much would it really cost Mattel to make these basic figures and actually give them the cloth shirt. Uh, I'm sure it would add some cost to the figure but really at the expense of making a better product is it, isn't it really worth it. So that's The Rock and I'm Christian Michael Episode 59. Hello. Hello. All right, stop, stop acting stupid before people think you're weird. You guys don't think I'm weird, do you? Hmm. I sent some skepticism out there. Anyway, let's close up episode 58. You know the drill. If you haven't figured it out by now, there's four things you, I ask you to do. Figure it out. Four Horsemen style. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, guys, but I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Having a little too much fun in this video, so let's wrap it up, and we'll see you in the next time.